Hi, my name is Dr. Anoki Khanim from the Apple Tree Pediatrics, and I will be discussing gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis is defined as three or more loose or watery stools within a period of 24 hours. It can be associated sometimes with vomiting, high fever, stomach cramp, and general body aches and pains. In gastroenteritis, the most common cause is a viral infection, such as a rota or a novovirus. These usually occur throughout the year, but peak usually during the autumn and winter seasons. When a child suffers from gastroenteritis, be it viral or bacterial, it usually results in a sloughing or damage of the skin surface inside the intestines, resulting in release of water and therefore the resulting diarrhea. This makes the child a little less tolerant to digesting foods, particularly complex carbohydrates. It is not the end of the world if your child is refusing to eat. You offer him regular small amounts of a light diet. Do not restrict it to bread and water or rusk and soups. The most important thing is that your child remains hydrated and therefore rehydrating with oral rehydration salts. We can go prolonged periods of time without food, but we cannot go prolonged period of time without water. In gastroenteritis, your watery stools can last between 5 to 7 days and vomiting between 24 to 48 hours. Treatment for gastroenteritis is oral rehydration and nothing else. After vomiting, I usually advise parents to wait at least 20 minutes to half an hour to allow the stomach to settle and then offer the child spoon-wise or in an oral syringe about 5 to 10 milliliters of ORS every 5 to 10 minutes. Usually if you give a child something to drink straight after they vomited, they will very likely vomit again. Under no circumstances is your child to be given antibiotics for diarrhea without prior review by your pediatrician. And in most cases, I usually advise to take and wait for your cultural results if your child is otherwise doing moderately well. Should watery stools still be happening on day five, I usually suggest a sample be sent for DR and cultures and your pediatrician be informed. At any point during the illness, should there be blood or mucus in the diarrhea, I advise again a sample to be sent for DR and culture and your pediatrician to be informed immediately. Vomiting lasting more than two days or if your child is vomiting more than he is taking in requires an urgent review through your pediatrician. Signs of dehydration in your child is a dry tongue, no tears and increased sleepiness. In some cases, diarrhea and even a viral illness can last up to two weeks, but anything beyond that is considered a persistent diarrhea requiring further investigation. So in summary, gastroenteritis is most commonly caused by a viral infection. It is an indication that there is a bug in the system which needs to be purged. Therefore, your child is passing loose stools and sometimes vomiting. There is no medication to stop the loose stools. The only thing to do is treat with rehydration. If your child is showing signs of dehydration, please contact your local pediatrician or take him to your local pediatric ER. I'm Dr. Noki Khanum from the Apple Tree Pediatrics.